Hello everybody and welcome back to a model that I've left for some time now and that is the Cirrus Motha David Bonington design. Um, I've made a number of modifications to the model and I've got to a sticking point because I'm waiting for a part for the engine. However, I thought it's time to press on and do something with it so why not get the wings covered? And to do that I'm going to use um, a swap meet find uh, something I've never used before, cover right. Uh, I'm assuming it has the similar characteristics to all the other coverings, uh, in that it's a heat shrink covering with uh, a glue attached to it. It's plain coloured, which is fine because I have a colour scheme in mind that I want to go with. And the other thing is, I'm going to see how effective these dummy riblets are on the wing by covering it so without further ado i'll cover the bottom surfaces first and when it gets to the interesting upper part i think i'll video it let's get going I think it's fair to say I find that a very strange experience. It's uh, not like a material I've ever used before. Um, it feels like parchment. And I wasn't convinced it was going to actually uh, tighten up. So I did something I wouldn't normally do, and that is I've applied a heat gun um, to the surface before I've cut, done the top um, surface, because I didn't want to commit to doing it and then find out it was no good. But... Yeah, it's worked. It's strange. Obviously, a lot of that crinkliness, it, it now feels like it's tight in fabric. Um, and a lot of that disappears once the glue's been used, heated up. But yeah, well, um, it's another one of those coverings. It's a shame it's gone now. Cover right. So I'll crack on, cover the top wing, and we'll see what these false riblets look like. I'm now, now about to cover the upper surface and because it acts a bit like a parchment it's actually rather difficult to handle um, but we'll try and cover it in, in the normal way tacking at the end first which actually might make things a little bit easier because it's very parchment like it's sort of pulling on itself Trying to roll up like the scroll and get, a, get this square with a bit of tension on. The other thing I've noticed, and at first I thought it was a problem with the aim, and that is there's like an orange colouring, and I thought it was actually paint on the soldering iron but i haven't used any orange covering and i think it's actually the adhesive um is creating that effect which is rather strange i mean it doesn't matter it's going to be painted anyway but it, was, it feels rather odd and this bit's just a little bit awkward because it's so stiff to handle yeah it's definitely the the adhesive that's actually Creating that orange colour. Let's see that one. And the other thing is, it definitely um, works at a much higher temperature than solar film or solar text. Definitely. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, it's just what it is. Try 
keep the tension on there to a certain extent. Don't know how desperate that is, but I find if you try and keep the covering as tight as you can at this stage, it makes for a, a less stressful shrinking out stage later on. Last thing you want to be dealing with is stubborn wrinkles that won't come out. Seems to be covering okay. This bit will be a challenge. Sometimes on these tips I would do it with an end cap. Um, I'm sort of inclined to lean towards that with this, but we might be able to get it because it's so stiff. I'm not sure whether it's going to come out. We'll see. Well, I've attempted to do it now. S stick or bust. That might work, you know. We'll see when I apply the heat with the gun rather than the iron. Yeah, very strange sensation. Seems to produce a nice finish. It's all pretty academic because you can't get the stuff now, so. out the wing there right I'm going to trim this get it all set up and then we'll come back when I apply the heat covering on I'm going to apply the heat with the heat gun now let's see if we can get this looking nice starting in the center I'm trying to get it to Shrink evenly. We have to get it to all those wrinkles to come out. It's always a bit nerve-wracking this isn't it? Well I find it so. You don't want to burn holes in it. It helps if you have a little bit of light coming from an angle. You can see the shadows cast by any wrinkles if you do that. Well I'm deeming that a success. I think it looks really nice. So that's cover right. If you ever come across it in a swap meet I would say grab it. It looks cool. Some wrinkles are slightly coming back as it cools, so that may be something you have to go back to. And now that it's now that it's shrank, I'm going to apply the heat across the riblets and actually adhere the covering to them. I think it'll 
just add to the strength quite a bit. So cover right, there you go. Another manufacturer that bit the dust for whatever reason. Shame isn't it? Because there's so many people now are quite happy to buy uh, almost ready to fly or ready to fly models which you can't blame them if that's what you're interested in but there's there's not a market out there anymore people who scratch build or build from kits are very much in the minority in the hobby now i would say um but without the almost ready to fly models would there be any hobby left at all now it's a bit, bit debatable isn't it um, there are enough people interested in this I know that by the sort of viewing figures I get and I'm by no means a big YouTuber I do this simply as a way of adding to my enjoyment of the of the hobby but there you go let's see let's take this a little bit of a There we have it. Let's have a closer look. I think those riblets, for me anyway, are worth applying. Slight wrinkle appear in there, you see, as it cools down just a touch. I'll blast it a bit more. I'll take that out. There we have it. Well, I hope you found that interesting. Just a bit of a step forward with this project that's been sat on the back burner for quite some time. Um, as soon as I get that part for the engine, I'm going to crack on and get this model done. But I'll finish covering the upper wing at least. Uh, and then it, that's a bit of a step forward. This bit I'm going to cover in tissue because this was a, the fuel tank. Uh, cover the tissue just to get a nice finish ready for to take the paint. Um, I've discovered a fuel proof paint as well through trolling the internet, which I'll share with you when it comes to applying um, paint to this little model. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so. A lot of people who visit don't bother subscribing. Um, if you do and you press the the dark um, bell icon you get updates on progress for these projects so take care get flying if you can and if you can't let's get creative